Hi friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel. Today I am just doing a quick and simple eye look using the ColourPop Fine Feathered Palette. If you're interested in seeing how I created the look on my eyes and face today, then keep on watching. I have my little desk buddy. This is Gloria. Super happy to have her. Today we are doing a look using the ColourPop Fine Feathered Palette. This is what she looks like. I've only done brows and some eye primer. I haven't done any face products because it's kind of pink and purple, so I imagine there's gonna be a little bit of fallout and I don't wanna deal with cleaning that up. So let's go ahead and jump into the look. It's been a while since I've just sat and played with makeup and I am just so, so excited just to play for fun. Um, the first shade I think I wanna use is High Flying, which is this kind of like coral shade on the top here. I think I'm gonna use that as an all over crease color. I used my Fenty eye primer as usual and I feel like it's just oddly sticky today and my shadows are not blending as easy as they normally do. So it might take a minute to blend these edges out. Next I want to take this bottom middle shade. This is called Hen Party and I'm going to use this in kind of in my crease but a little bit lower than the previous shade. I like to add a lot of depth to my crease colors just because I feel like you can add so much dimension to a look by using more colors. I think I want to go for a halo eye. You know, I think I'm going to change directions real quick and do a halo eye. So I'm going to start taking this second shade that we are using into the inner portion of the eyelid as well. So that way when we go in with some shimmers, we can create a nice halo effect. I'm gonna take that first lighter shade and I'm going to buff it kind of into the inner third of my eye, kind of in that crease area, just bringing that shade up a little bit higher. Next, I'm gonna take this matte shade called Goose Chase and we're going to use that to deepen up the outer and inner portions of my eye. So just very lightly on the outside, kind of outer V and inner, inner, I don't even know what you'd call that, like inner V? Just placing a little bit on the outer inner points to create a little bit more depth. This is the shape that we have going so far. I think I'm going to go ahead and take a flat brush and the shade No Flocks. This is going to go on the center of the lid. And then on the very center, I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Tweet Me, which is this lighter shimmer. As always, I'm spritzing with a little bit of my Fix Plus spray. I always like to spray with my shimmers. I just think it makes them pop a little bit extra. I'm really just focusing this shade on the center of my eyelid. I'm not taking it all the way in or all the way out. I'm going to dip into the first and second shades that we used and I'm just going to lightly pat around the shimmer shade just to blend everything in together. Taking the same brush I used for the first shimmer, we're going to go ahead and dip into Tweet Me, which is the lighter of the two shimmers. And this is just going literally just right in the center of the eyelid. Not too much, just enough to give it that extra little pop of dimension. I think that is the top of the eyelid complete, so I'm going to go ahead and do my base and face products and then come back for the lower lash line. Now let's go ahead and do the lower lash line. I'm gonna use the other end of that Naked Smoky brush in that first shade High Flying, and I'm just going to smoke this out underneath my lower lash line. 
Using that same end of the brush, I'm going to go ahead and touch into Hen Party and just a dot of Goose Chase. And I'm going to use this just on the very outer third of my lower lash line. Just for that subtle smoky effect. It gives that kind of nice transition from dark to light in the inner portion. And last but not least, I'm going to take that lightest shade, Tweak Me, and use that as an inner corner highlight. Just gently tapping that into the inner part of my eyelid. I do have this little Super Shock Shadow in the shade Bubbly, and I believe this was part of the Super Shock Shadow duo that comes with the Fine Feathered set. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take just a teeny tiny bit of this on my finger and put it in the middle of my eyelid. Look how pretty this palette is. Alrighty friends, I skipped lashes because I'm just gonna go run some errands and clean today and thought it was just a little bit redundant to do lashes while doing all those things. So I just threw some mascara on. I used the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is, yeah, the, the green tube. Overall, I really like the look. I think it came out really, really great. It's super cute, something fun. It's cute. Let me know your thoughts on this look down below in the comments and I will see you guys all in the next one.